Hey guys, welcome back to Redstone Science. In this episode, we're going to be talking about item filters. Now, the basic concept behind item filters is that you can throw items into a chest. I set this up nicely, hang on. <laughs> and uh, no items will flow through into the hopper below unless it is the right item. So we have over here some diamonds, and it'll ignore all of these other items and only take the diamonds from within. And uh, reasons you might want to use this is for like a shop. Let's say this was a shop. You you pay in diamonds. The diamonds go down here. And once you have set up a way to figure out a payment is received, it'll then you can then hook it up to shoot back an item. Another potential use for item filters is to set up a sorting system. Hope I remember the right items I had in here. Just double checking, but you can see that the items once once it goes through all of them. Let me give it give that a chance. <laughs> uh, it will sort itself out into these four different chests. Um, and really, there is a particular reason that we can do this. But an important thing to know. Let's see. Okay, it looks like we've got our items in here now. <laughs> There you can see. Oh, I think I had an extra set of stuff. But you can see that it went through. I think I might need those diamonds later. <laughs> uh, over here you can see we have different ways of uh, setting up hoppers. So I can kind of explain to you what's going on. You see, hoppers actually have two functions. Although it seems kind of straightforward that this would work. Items would flow from one hopper into the next, into the next. But over here you can see that the hopper on top is pushing items from the inventory up here into the chest down here. While doing that, the hopper below is then sucking items out from the chest above. So that's the two, two functions that it has. It has a function to push items into another inventory and to uh, take items from an inventory above it. Now you can see over here the push function of the hoppers has been set to invalid targets. So the items won't actually be pushed anywhere, but it gives the hopper below a chance to function only as a uh, receptacle for items above. And this is important to making the these item filters work. So we can see over here that we have that set up. And what this is basically doing is um, as items go into to the chest above that are the right item. Oh, this isn't set up properly. I'll have to set that up. <laughs> um, as the items flow through, it will turn off this torch, which is uh, effectively turning off this hopper. So what that means is that since this hopper is not pushing items into this hopper below. No items will flow from here into the hopper below until it uh, sends a signal into this torch. Now before I demonstrate that, I have over here an example. So I can show you exactly what's going on as far as the signal strength. I'm going to have to do another video on comparators themselves but here to briefly explain as items enter the hopper the uh, signal strength will increase and depending on how big of a number those items will stack to will change how many items you need to place in there mm. I thought I was prepared for this you don't have to forgive me let me let me just grab these snowballs I accidentally left over there. So over here you can see I have five items across of the diamond diamonds. And even if we go all the way up to 18 in this one stack, which is the equivalent of 22 items, you can see that this is still only at one signal strength. As soon as we add one more to that, the signal strength will increase to two which is exactly what we're checking for over here. You can see that the signal strength 
up here is not affecting this repeater, but as soon as the signal strength expands into two, it then sends a signal through this repeater and turns off the torch. Now, um, just so you know, this is set to 22 items. You can also use uh, filler items, like named snowballs. But I would suggest that whatever you want going through this filter be the exact item. Let me, let me set this up. <laughs> that you, only the exact item that you want to have flow through it, on the off chance that something happens, it doesn't quite work anymore. So if we look at it like this, you can see I have the 22 up here. And you're also going to expect to have one item in the hopper below. As, as items flow through, the way this is set up with the shutoff function of the torch here, I'm just placing that redstone block to show that it's off, uh, items uh, will always be left in here, but only one item at a time. And now I grabbed the snow for a reason. I just wanted to show you the difference in just how much it takes to send that signal over. You can see I have five in there now. And once I add one more, it jumps over to the second line. So that's how you set that up. Just again, to <laughs> do a sort of a cleaner review. Up here you need 22 items that stack to, 20, uh, to uh, 46. Let me, uh, there you go. <laughs> 46 diamonds, you need 22 covering all these slots. If they are not placed across the five slots, other items will be able to come through. But with the shutoff function, it only allows that particular item to come through. So you, you have here your 22 diamonds. Once it has 23, the signal and strength, uh, signal strength increases to 2. The repeater picks it up, allows an item to flow in from the hopper above into this hopper while also letting go of the diamond that it currently has and sends it into this chest. So we can see that happening here. This number is going to flash between 18 and 19 which is then causing this signal to flash. It's causing the repeater to flash but the torch is still staying off so items are in a constant flow through here. You don't even see this flashing at all. But you can see over here the number is increasing. And that is uh, the long and short of it. Unfortunately, uh, I could not really figure out better ways of displaying that. So it's, it's a lot more explanatory in this one. But thanks guys for watching. I hope this helped you. And I'll catch you next time.